Hello ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to a relatively new game called 18 Wheels of Steel Extreme Trucker 2. Um, I picked this game up a little while ago. About that. I picked this game up a little while ago because um, I wanted something that sort of had a trucker game with sort of Canadian looking places. And this place has got Montana and uh, somewhere up north. I don't know. Check it here. Oops. Really played it a whole lot. Yeah, somewhere in the Northwest Territory. So that's in Canada. Um, so it's a little bit of an interesting game. I'm in Montana right now. Uh, so let's dive right in and see what we can do. We'll take a portable sawmill. Hopefully Fraps doesn't slow me down too much. I didn't have any problems running the game with Fraps off. It seems fairly smooth. It could be better. Uh, this game's pretty in-depth. Um, as you can see, it's fairly detailed. I've got the graphics turned down quite a bit so I can actually be able to run it. Probably don't need reflection detail on high. Texture qualities are all the way up. Um, I'm only running at 720p right now. But it's pretty detailed. Um, you can go inside the cab and look around. Obviously you can see the truck now. Um, in the top left and top right corners there I can show my mirrors. Um, you can also look at them. And they actually do move, they're animated. Um, but you actually have to do everything, so I've got strobe lights that I can turn on and off. I can turn on and off my flashers, my signal lights left and right. Maybe not. Not while well, the engine's off. But I have to actually turn the engine on. And shift gears and everything. Um, so we're heading to Thompson Falls from sight. Okay. So we may as well just get right in there. I think it would be quicker if I managed to somehow turn around. I don't know how easy or hard that's going to be. Trying to avoid that stuff. Ah, uh, well, I guess there's no way to turn around with me, so let's go this way. I'm going to be kind of switching back and forth between in-cap view and uh, exterior view here. I haven't done this mission yet, so I'm not sure what to expect. Um, it's kind of cool when you go in the north ones. Up in north you have to drive on the ice roads, and I've fallen through a couple times. And I've completely slid out and, and driven off track before.
Uh, the game itself doesn't have any music, but you can add your own. I found that to be a little bit glitchy. Um, some songs, for some reason, don't work at all, and it tends to crash the game. I don't know if that has to do with more with my songs or if it has to do with the game itself, but I decided not to, not to bother. If I really want to listen to music, I'll just uh, turn on my radio while I'm playing the game. Yeah, I am getting a little bit choppy, but it's a fairly demanding, demanding game, so it's to be expected. Okay, I recognize this area. This is the first, um, the first sort of mission, I guess you could call it, that I did in Montana. Because I had to take a broken down truck from where that truck was sitting back there to Thompson Falls, whatever it's called. So what I do like about this game is you can use the mouse to look around kind of freely. Um, but it also is kind of a bad thing because you gotta be good at multitasking to be able to control the vehicle and look around at the same time. I did download a couple other um, truck driving games, but this one seems to have the best graphics and it runs the best on my computer. I downloaded an older one uh, that runs in OpenGL and it didn't work very well. Um, it, it didn't even look as good as this game, but it was choppy and it was hard to control and it just didn't look good at all, so I kind of gave up on that one. That one was kind of cool though because you could drive to Canadian cities and it was like uh, kind of like a long haul type thing. You had to drive cross country and up to parts of Canada and down to Mexico. And while it was interesting, it wasn't really. You know, it was cool to be able to drive across the country like that, but it wasn't really accurate enough. You know, for what it was trying to be. As you can see, there's weather, changing weather. Um, like, I control my wiper blades. Sometimes it snows, sometimes it rains. You know, basically what, it, what you'd expect. Um, you gotta be able to adjust your driving to the conditions. Um, as you can see, my fuel is at half. There's a gas station here, so I may as well fuel up.
close enough. I think it's pretty cool that you have to like fuel up and everything like that. Um, you gotta watch your fuel gauges. Stop training. As you can see down in the, behind the steering wheel there, I've got a fuel gauge in the top left. Oil pressure, temperature, uh, my RPM tachometer. The only thing I wish this game had was um, like actual truck stops where you had to stop and eat and sleep and all that kind of stuff. That doesn't exist. It does in the other game, but it's just annoying the way it works. It's like every five minutes, oh, your character's tired, you have to sleep. accident here. Oh, good call. Ah, we're in America. Americans are uh, pretty rude anyway, so we'll just pull out in front of this guy. It does have cruise control, although I don't know why. I don't think doesn't work very well, like, <laughs> you can set it, but you still have to shift gears, otherwise you're gonna, you're gonna lose your cruise control, and if, if any little adjustment in speed causes your cruise control to automatically turn off. So, you know, while it's neat the game's got it, it's pretty useless in a lot of these maps where there's all these different elevations, and gotta be able to adjust for different speeds. Plus, who wants to play a game and have cruise control? Spawned one of the two. Well, there's the truck stop. And it's pretty hard to get these things up to up to any real natural speed. Apparently, there's over 70 different types of trucks and 35 different loads or something like that. I've seen a few. I've I've carried um, stuff like potable water, uh, contaminated dirt, contaminated snow, um, this movable rig thingy looks like a gold scepter, I don't know what it is, but helicopters, pretty much everything you can imagine. Whoa, whoa, maybe I shouldn't have had those beers before I started driving. Whoa. cabin view a little bit better. It's a little bit easier to see where you're headed. Let's turn this towards on. Hey, there we go. Like, they're not supposed to flash at the same time. It's raining again. This map is taking, I, 
<clears throat> if I have some time, I'll go do one of the winter ones. Those are kind of neat. Um, not sure. Almost there anyway. And you can turn off the uh, the side views and everything too, like if you don't want them up, which may help you if um, you know you you're really just driving and you don't really need them. Um, I only use them if I have to back up. A lot of times I'll try to actually back my load into into where it's supposed to go in one of the stalls, but you don't really have to do that, as you'll see when I get to the to the end here. Yeah, I kind of like this Montana one because it kind of reminds me of the uh, British Columbia Rockies, Rocky Mountains. It's kind of nice. On a right hand turn here. It's in my flashers. Yeah, the steering wheel is a little bit awkward since I'm controlling the arrow keys, oh, the WASD keys. So it's a little bit awkward, you know, it's. <laughs> It just moves smoothly, there's no, obviously no pressure control, like an analog stick would have, or a steering wheel. Um, this game apparently can take steering wheels, I just didn't bother getting mine out for this purpose of playing it. Uh, now I got one to try and find where this wants to go. Of course. Let's see if we can back this sucker up. God, I'm gonna flip. I'm gonna count that. Job completed. So as you can see, they dock you points for however long it takes and whatever damage you've given the the load. I didn't think I did that much damage, but whatever. Yeah, let's go check out the winter road here. I'm not going to attempt to pronounce that word. Tuckyani attack, or okay, maybe I will attempt to pronounce it. Tuckyani Kukni attack? I don't know. Tuckoya, Tuckoya attack. Now we got groceries, a Derek rig, or a P tank. Uh, they're all unfortunately long, 
long drives. I kind of wanted a shorter one. This one looks interesting. I've definitely had some trouble out here before. Yeah, this is the only trucker game I can find that actually had wintry, like a wintry type area. Um, a lot of trucker games take place in the United States and they just don't get snow like we do in Canada. Yeah, let's turn the radio on. Exact same font as Tim Hortons. Okay, let's turn the music on. I basically just got a lot of rock. Um, that one's working. Yeah, so as you can see, I've got a nice road here. If I go on those cracks, uh, you'll see some terrible, terrible things happen. I have ended up going way too fast in this map before just absolutely shot myself off-road and once you get these suckers into the snow it's not <laughs> it's not easy to get them out that's for sure Yeah, like I said, some songs they just don't play, and, and when the system comes across a song that won't play, it, it starts to freak right out. I don't know if that's avoidable at all. Let bring the engine a little bit there. I don't know what that steam is all about. It's a big geyser or something. God, this guy's going real slow. Let's see. One thing I don't like about this game is you can't change. Um, the readings on the speedometer, they have to be in miles per hour. I don't know if that's something that it's just true for trucks or 
protractors, but it's kind of annoying. Like, I like to read my, my speed kilometers per hour. Obviously, that's the proper way to do it. Taking all the shortcuts here. Although it's more dangerous. At least the realism of this game is fairly accurate. Like, this looks fairly representable of Canadian wintery, you know, in the north, up kinda northern British Columbia, northern Alberta type area. Oh crap, I have to go this way. That was a risky maneuver I just did there. Gotta make a decision which way looks the least thin. Uh, skip the edge. Gah! I hope they like all their food shaken. Oh god. Don't want to fall in because then you gotta basically restart. I have to make sure that when this song ends, I don't just let it continue, I gotta actually find one that works. Otherwise we'll be recording a crash. We don't want that. And not like a car crash, that would be kinda cool. An actual game crash. Unless it plays like that. Yeah, I think this is supposed to be like sort of a copy of some Alaska areas, but it's, the map shows it being right in the Northwest Territories. Sort of like above Manitoba. One thing I do know is it looks cold, and that's what I was going for. Extremely dangerous. I have wiped out before. God.
still holding strong at 35 miles an hour. Just got her just shy of 55 kilometers an hour, I think. Uh, we've got a problem here. Oh god, no. Just don't drive into the crash dice. Ugh. Gonna be okay. Put that corner a little bit sharp. God, could you imagine how scary that would be? Taking a corner too sharp, wiping out on on the ice roads like that. Almost there. Canada has to be Horton. Ah, Jake Break. Um, a little bit of a dock, no damage this time. Well, I think that would be okay for today. Uh, this has been 18 Wheels of Steel Extreme Trucker 2.